Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we're going to work on a single leg deadlift with a kettlebell. There are a bunch of versions of this exercise. Think of this as a variation of a Romanian deadlift. Normally, when I see Romanian deadlifts, they're done in the gym. They are slightly bent leg, flat back, and usually done with a barbell, dragging the barbell up the leg. This version is similar, but we're gonna to go to one leg. Kettlebells excel at a lot of things. The best thing that they do is create cross stabilization in the body, basically forcing the core to fire by loading one side of the body. Typically you do it by loading one hand. Kettlebell clean and press. Kettlebell clean, kettlebell snatch. High windmill, Turkish get up. Think of this as the inverse of that idea. We're putting a kettlebell in the hands and we're only loading one leg at a time. Step up to your kettlebell. I'm gonna start with my right leg. I put my toe all the way against the bell. That is the starting and stopping position. Put your feet together to check that your feet are pointed straight ahead. Sometimes when people set up for this, they will try to turn out and it doesn't work at all. Foot straight ahead, take your other foot. Easiest version, bend at the knee. Bend the leg slightly, two hands down in front, track down. Think about dragging it up the leg at the top, straighten the leg as hard as you can. Bend the leg slightly, slide the kettlebell down the leg, drift in front of the toe, touch down. Stand up, push it back towards the leg at the top. The interesting part is trying to straighten that leg all the way out. Bend it slightly, get all the way back down. You're gonna struggle for balance, especially if you're on unlevel ground, that's fine, that's the point. You're gonna find the arch of your foot firing really hard. Think about pushing into the ground with your big toe as hard as you can. Touch down, fight for that balance, squeeze the glute at the top, and then set it all the way down. You're gonna feel the outsides of your calf fire really hard from pushing that big toe down into the ground. Set up for the other side. Kick the bell with your toe. That's as close as you should be. Make sure the foot is pointed straight ahead. Check at the top, glute on. On the last one, we had our knees together. On this one, track your leg further back behind you. Think about keeping your hips square to the ground. Turning your hips to the side is a different variation that you'll find dancers use, but for most people, keeping the hips square to the front will be good. Think hip square, leg up, leg back a little bit. Two hands down, track down. Stand all the way up. There's that bad knee. Drive the shoulders away from the ears. Squeeze the glute. If you have to touch the toe down, touch the toe down. Re-look for balance, leg back, Track down, drive up, squeeze the glute, try to straighten the leg, get all the way down, touch. Drive up, get down. If you've had a bunch of leg surgeries, this will very quickly expose which leg works better than the other. That is the point. Kettlebells hunt down your weaknesses so that you can try to make both sides equally as strong. Having one strong elbow is bad. Having one strong knee is bad. When you're subjected to high athletic force, usually whatever the weakest part is, is the part that blows out. I myself have had a lot of knee surgeries. So usually about once a year, I will go through a cycle where I integrate this into my programs for about two months. If you practice martial arts, you'll be really familiar with single leg things where you lift your leg up and you hold different stances. You do it a lot in weapons fighting, especially Asian styles of martial arts where you put your foot on the ground and you create power while driving a knee up. This exercise helps you figure out what things have gotten weak. What things are you working around? Your body will try to accomplish any task. So if you have a weak point in your body and you do really complex athletic training, as that part of your body gets tired, you'll shift the load and it'll start to get weaker instead of better. Occasionally, you have to go back and put in these isolation exercises to see if both sides of the body are still working equally well. There are harder versions of this, pure straight leg versions of this that dancers and circus performers do, and hip opening versions at the top. For the most part, point your foot straight ahead, 
slight bend at the knee as you're picking the weight up. The back should be generally flat and this should be a glute hamstring exercise with the sides of the calf stabilizing. In order to get to this exercise, you should be very good at kettlebell swings and kettlebell clean and press ahead of time in order to build your base strength for your hamstrings and your posterior chain. You go up and down on an athletic progression forever, for absolutely ever. And anytime you get hurt, you have to focus on your basics more forever.